Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversations. Lecture number 21. Thriving in Empires, Esther, Daniel, and the Jewish Experience The books of Esther and Daniel provide insights into life under the Persian Empire and the subsequent Hellenistic or Greek empires. These stories depict the subversion of schemes by the powerful elite and the triumph of the vulnerable. During this period, the Jewish people were a minority within these vast en empires, with some returning to Jerusalem while others remained in regions ruled by the Persians. Regardless of their location, they had to establish lives for themselves amidst the whims of those in power. The books of Esther and Daniel shed light on how they navigated these circumstances. The story of Esther focuses on the Persian king, who is portrayed as lacking intelligence. His primary advisor is the wicked Haman, while the noble figure is Mordecai, a Jewish man living among the Persian exiles. Mordecai thwarts Haman's evil schemes and seeks the welfare of his people. Esther who rises from being a commoner to become queen, displays wisdom, courage, and uses her position to save those in danger. The story highlights the potential for ordinary people to achieve great things even under foreign domination. The book of Esther begins with a banquet hosted by the Persian king, during which his wife, Vashti, refuses to appear, leading to her banishment. The king searches for a new queen and Esther, keeping her Jewish identity a secret, becomes the chosen one. This unexpected turn of events leads to Esther discovering a plot to kill the king, which she foils with Morde Mordecai's help. The plot thickens when Haman demands that everyone bow down to him, but Mordecai refuses. Haman then plans to slaughter all the Jews, setting a date determined by rolling dice. Mordecai calls on Esther to intervene and stop the slaughter. Through a series of banquets and revelations, Esther exposes Haman's plot, leading to his downfall. The Jewish people are granted the right to defend themselves, resulting in victory. The, ve the festival of Purim is established to commemorate this turning point. The book of Daniel is divided into two parts. The first six chapters tell stories of Daniel, a Jewish sage and his associates navigating the whims of empire rulers. These stories humorously undermine the pretensions of the high and mighty. The story of the fair, fiery furnace, for example, mocks the pompous Babylonian king who demands worship of a golden statue. Daniel's friends Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego refuse to bow down and are thrown into the furnace. Miraculously, they survive accompanied by a divine figure. The king witnesses this, witnesses this and praises the God of these men, recognizing the limits of his own power. The story of Daniel challenges readers to resist unjust decrees and remain faithful to a higher authority. It highlights the courage and integrity of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego who risked their lives to obey God rather than the state. 
the biblical account acknowledges the uncertainty of divine intervention but emphasizes the importance of his standing up to, to threats with integrity and courage. Chapter 5 of Daniel focuses on the downfall of the Babylonians. The story portrays the Babylonian king's arrogance during a banquet where he displays the plundered temple bowels from Jerusalem. This act symbolizes the king's disregard for divine authority. Subsequently, the king witnesses a divine message written on the wall foretelling his downfall. The chapter culminates in the demise of the Babylonian Empire. In conclusion, the stories of Esther and Daniel provide insights into life under empire rule. They demonstrate the potential for ordinary individuals to achieve great things, challenge and just decrease, and emphasize the limits of human power. These narratives encourage readers to act with integrity, courage, and faithfulness to higher principles in the face of oppression and the whims of those in power. Deuterocanonical Portions of Daniel The Deuterocanonical portions of the book of Daniel consist of three chapters that are not present in the original Hebrew or Aramaic text. These deuterocanonical chapters can be found in the Koine Greek Septuagint, which is the earliest Greek translation of the Old Testament. Here are the details of these three portions. Number one, the prayer of Asariah and Song of the Three Holy Children. This section, found in the Greek translation, is inserted between verses 22 and 24 in the Protestant canon. In this part, when Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego are thrown into a furnace for refusing to worship an idol, they are saved by an angel and sing a song of worship. In some Greek Bibles, this prayer and song are included as an appendix to the book of Psalms. Number 2. Susanna and the Elders This episode appears before Daniel chapter 1 verse 1 as a prologue in early Greek manuscripts and, is chap- and it is chapter 13 in the Vulgate. It, along with Bell and the Dragon, is considered one of the earliest examples of a detective story. In this story, Two men try to blackmail a young woman into having sexual relations with them, but their plan is exposed and thwarted through thorough questioning by Daniel. Number 3. Bell and the Dragon This tale is placed after Daniel chapter 12 verse 13 in Greek as an epilogue, and it is chapter 14 in the Vulgate. In this story, Daniel's detective work uncovers the truth about a brass idol that is believed to consume sacrifices miraculously. It is revealed that the idol is a cover for a corrupt priesthood that is stealing the offerings. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series. Unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. Thank you for joining us for episode 21, Thriving in Empires. We've journeyed through the intriguing lives of Esther and Daniel, reflecting on resilience and faith under empire rule. From as a strategic triumph to Daniel's fiery test of faith, Those stories illustrate enduring hope and integrity amidst trials. Remember, the courage of these figures teaches us about the power of standing firm for justice and righteousness. Join us next time as we unfold the complexities of Episode 22, Introduction to the Jotaro Canonical Books. 
Until then, keep exploring, learning, and growing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon for notification on your future installment.